Hi everyone, Luke here from Figmento Films. I'm sorry it's been a long time. Uh, last time we were looking at the firmware updates on the uh, new Panasonic cameras. Um, so I was looking at the animal autofocus on the G9 and I believe I said that I would also look at it on the GH5S. So for those of you that don't know, which I'm sure everyone already does, the Panasonic GH5S is a fantastic video camera and they also added the animal autofocus to that camera as well. So. Uh, for a switch what we've done today is we're filming on the G9 and I've actually got the GH5S here and I've got the Panasonic 100 to 300 uh, Mark II lens on it. It's not an amazing lens, it is a little bit slow so with all the results that we see today uh, it is worth keeping that in mind if you're looking for a really good uh, wildlife lens it might be worth splashing out a little bit more on the, uh, the Leica lens however it could also just be a reflection of me um, for those who don't know, I'm not really an animal or a wildlife photographer. Uh, I do more corporate stuff and weddings and all that type of thing. But I'm a big fan of going out walking, big fan of filming, big fan of photography. So they kind of go hand in hand. If you liked today's video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to keep notified of future videos. At the moment, we are in Studley. We're going to be going to Ulster in a bit as well. Uh, and I've got my lens and my camera ready. And we're just going to be trying out a little bit of wildlife videography today. Okay, so unfortunately there's been a slight change of plan. So the weather, British weather being what it is, has changed. I had my drone out, it started to rain. Uh, I was going to walk to a local pond nearby where they've got like herons and all sorts of birds. However, it's cold as hell, it started to rain. So we're going to get out of here and instead we're going to go to Hiller's Farm. They've got a bird hide there. It's quite a popular bird hide. They feed the birds and stuff. So you're almost like guaranteed to see something there. Uh, it's probably a bit safer than having all my equipment out outside here. Uh, I'll be in like a little hut at least, so I'll be sort of warm. Um, so yeah, we're going to make our way to Hillis Farm now, which is in Ulster. So just before we get started, everything is filmed in 1920 by 1080 at 50 frames a second at 422 10-bit all intro. I'm using the Panasonic 100-300 Mark II, and I try to stay between F8 and F11. This is the very first shot. I've tried to include the very start of every shot because there's that moment where you're zooming in to try and capture your subject. I need to know how fast that focusing time is. And as you can tell, it's pretty damn impressive. Um, this is straight out of the box. If you delve into the menus, there are much deeper options available for that kind of control, how erratic the animal might be. Um, and you can make all these sort of tweaks. Um, but I just wanted to know what it was like straight out of the box. Again, another good example. Uh, I've zoomed in. Uh, it's jumped from the tree down to the ground and it's caught focus already. Now when you're using quite high uh, apertures, F8 and above, um, this uh, is going to give you a much deeper depth of field, which is going to help keep your subject in focus as well. So this is really quite impressive. Um, I did not expect a lot of this. It's not perfect though, and you'll see some shots coming up where it can be kind of hit and miss. But straight out of the box without tampering, I've just gone into the settings and selected animal autofocus. I've got um, quick focus on, so it's continuously, it's con just continuously focusing basically, and it's really quite impressive, but not perfect as you can see here. Uh, so that little guy. Uh, it wouldn't focus on. Then he went over to one of the feeders and it caught focus pretty quickly. And uh, I'm actually really impressed by the quality of this lens for, for video. Something I didn't intend it to use. Unfortunately, it does that. It, it just erratically and randomly loses focus. It's because there's loads of little boxes looking for subjects on the screen and then it will, put, and then it will uh, focus on that box as opposed to like the pinpoint accuracy you'd get from focusing on someone's eye but it is really good and I think when you're going to start using using it in, conjunc in conjunction with like uh, uh, the use of locking your focus um, and delving deeper into those menus you're going to get even better results for example the one change I ended up uh, making in the end because of this shot was uh, one of the updates as part of the firmware updates there is the ability to focus on near or far items uh, to favour either or 
and I switched it over and I did see a marketable difference. This is the this is another Robin landing in the same place but with far autofocus on. Uh, and this one was with near autofocus. I could not get focus and I and I damn sure couldn't do it uh, with pinpoint or even like trying manually sometimes. Um, sometimes I prefer to try and do a mixture of the two because the focus might miss, but I've never focused quite as fast as that. Now, this was interesting because this is at the very end of my focal range, and this is this was impressive. So I'm zoomed all the way in, and there's lots of objects on screen. And when he poked his head down to the bottom of the screen, it actually caught focus. Super impressive. Um, so this, as a filmmaking tool, is very powerful and I think I'll just play a little montage now Right then guys, I'm finishing this video off screen as the weather was terrible, I got soaking wet and uh, I'm just going to finish the video uh, here. But before I go, if you like the video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And uh, if you know what all of these birds were in the video, please comment them down below and I'll catch you next time. See ya.